five of the WBE. We're going up against MV. The probably like best person in our bracket. Because we're not in the same bracket as Pokeaim. Pokeaim's on the other side. The only way I'll play Pokeaim is if we're in like the finals. So I gotta go up against MV. Yeah, we gotta fight MV. And his team is like super good. So I have, I have like no clue what we're gonna do. But remember guys, you guys get to pick. How does got draft Togus and Dragapult? And Mamoswine. That's like, and Verizian, like Verizian's his low tier pick. It's crazy how this guy got this theme. I think it's crazy. Like I was talking to him and uh, I was just talking to his DMs. I was like, how the hell did we let you get all of these picks? I'm pretty sure he first picked Pult and he second picked Kiss. And I remember I wanted Kiss, I wanted Mamoswine, I wanted Verizian and I wanted Skun Tank. So he actually has a lot of the mons that I wanted to draft as well. And you can see that Dragapult is seven and O. Oh. That Dragapult has not been slain yet in the WBE. So like, how the hell am I gonna beat a Pokemon that's been brought every single time and hasn't been KO'd once? Yeah, I, I just think that this is gonna be a really hard week. And so uh, I know like a lot of people are gonna say like, Envy's really crazy, watch out for all his crazy sets and watch out for his unorthodox play. I don't, you guys know who you're talking to, right? I'm the meme master. I won with Metronome last week, right? But I have a game plan to beat MV. I was talking about it earlier. If I were to run this down, standard, right? If I were to run just, I'm gonna bring Politoed and I'm gonna set a uh, Rain Dance or I'm gonna set my Drizzle and I'm just gonna Swift Swim and try and win. If I were to run that standard, I'd lose nine times out of 10. Uh, the Lantern with the Water Typing, potential for Water Absorb, the Verizian with the Grass Typing. Uh, his team can just slow me down a, a little bit too much. Uh, wait me out. He has good defensive pivots on a lot of those mons. Eventually, I'd get caught with my pants down. Dragapult will pop a setup move and I get swept, which is how he wins a lot of his games, which is how you should be playing that team. So I'm deciding not to go with the standard play, right? I don't think that like going standard in this situation, you don't think he's going to go Mamo? I still think you go Mamo here because like Mamo is his lead, right? He's going to be leading with either Mamo or Dragapult. Right, and Mamo is a hard check to Titar. Mamo can deal with Mimikyu very, very well. Mamo checks the bolt hunt. Like he has to bring Mamo because that's his ground type, right? And if you don't bring your ground type, um, you're seriously lacking in the matchup versus like a lot of these mons. You'd be surprised. Um, I do think you're bringing Mamo because that's your that's gonna be your rock user. If your core is Dragable Togus, Mamo Swine, um, Verizian Lantern, Skun Tank, Mamo's your rocks user. Yeah, I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna reiterate this multiple times. We cannot beat him. If we're playing it straight up, if I were just leave Politoed, set rain, and try and roll him, we cannot beat him. The only way that we can beat MV with our team versus his, uh, we have to, have to get a foothold early. We have to trick him early, get into a good board state early, and never really let him understand what is going on. If that makes any sense at all. Uh, and there's different ways to not let him understand what's going on. And it's going to be hard to pull a fast one on someone as good as him. But I have some, I have some stuff I've been saving for almost a year. Um, I was going to take this tech to, um, some tournaments in 2019. And I feel it's timely, finally time to bust it out. There's two techs in particular. Both of them are very similar. And no one, uh, no one will see this coming. Seriously, we have to risk it for the biscuit. This game is going to be all RNG, and it will be the funniest game of the WBE you've ever seen. Is it time for Sniper Kingdra? No. See, Sniper Kingdra is something he can see coming. Because that's an ability that Kingdra gets, right? We're going to be doing something that, that he can't play around, right? So what do you guys think it is? What do you guys actually think it is? Oh, uh, let's look at his mons, right? Other than Verizian and Dragapult, most of his mons are actually kind of slow, right? So for the most part, like I can't really expect them to be like that offensive. So they're actually all going to go quite bulky. They might have just enough speed to like speed creep my base 70s because I have a couple Pokemon in the 70s. But other than that, I don't have to really run full speed. He doesn't really have to run full speed. And I don't have to respect him going full speed on those Dragapults and the Verizian. The Verizian, I think, is the enigma that's going to completely change the whole matchup let me know what you guys think about this i tested this already i have a zork right and i have a zork that's a female right and i use the move attract i can attract male pokemon 
But here's where the tech gets really good. Because if I have a Zorark that's a female, that's disguised as a male Pokemon, and I go for the Attract, it still works. So you can effectively get into a situation where he has to respect Attract on a lot of your mods. And so he'll start switching to males to beat males and females to beat males. And that's when you hit him with the Zorark. And you're able to attract his male Pokemon or his female Pokemon. Uh, this is not music from Showdown. You're able to attract the same gender with Zorark. Like I said, the only way we're going to beat him is through not making him understand what's going on. Like, we really have to make him tunnel away from other things. We want to get him to tunnel in on the exact thing that's happening to make him play more predictable. And then from there, um, I do think that, like, Tyranitar is another thing that can go into that. I'm going to be using a Quick Claw Tyranitar. I think Quick Claw, it's a 20%. 20%. But the thing is, once one Quick Claw activates, it's kind of like Ally Switch. It completely changes the dynamic of the matchup for the remainder of the game. If you look at his board, if we have, if we get a quick claw proc, one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot. Are you seeing me? They all can get one shotted, not the shuckle. Zork is a female, so we have to make our last mon a male. All right, it's gonna be Mimikyu then. All right, and like I said, this is just a test game. This is just a test game. If it works, that's cool. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Bronzong lead, huh? Look at, all, look at us right now. Look at us. Alright. Uh, I think I'm just going to set rocks. Bronzong has no... Also, let me see. I forgot to check these genders. Male, male. Female. Okay. A lot of male. Alright. I'm going to set rocks. I think it's super important. We can trade rocks. I don't care. Iron defense. He'll go for it, Chief. Yo, let's go. Let me cues up. Hmm. What's he really gonna do here? I'm gonna see if it's Lum. That's great. I wanna see how much damage we actually take. It was enough to obviously break the disguise till now, but I think we're alright. I wanna see if I can actually get what was subbing here. I want to see if he still breaks our sub with the gyro ball. Because we're not fast. That's surprising. It is. That is surprising. It's okay. I didn't even drain punch here. I think I can do shit. That does a decent amount. We'll see. Yeah, we're probably going to be doing stuff. Oh, am I going to gyro ball me? Yeah, I think that crit um, was pretty lame. All right, let's see what we actually want to get done here. So right now he should, well, we blew our cover. There's the lantern. So we actually think this is Politoed. He he's not checking for rain. It's all right. Discharge, ow. Cool, no para, it's really lucky. I didn't think it would KO, so it's fine. We can actually attract here. Um, Togekiss has same gender, we can switch it up. Yeah, I'm gonna EQ. It's wrong? That's fine. Levitate, yep. Standard play. I think I'm gonna try and wait up my rain by switching back to the lantern. But he takes rocks damage doing it every turn, so that's okay with me. I didn't actually expect him to be like that Bronzong set. Cool, we got a KO. That's working for me. Still have a lot of turns left to rain, too. Let's see if it's Pult coming out. Freezing could be Scarfed. That could be problematic. So if Freezing comes out here. Like, Dreadnought always goes one for one. Alright, so there's the Pult. Alright, alright, you guys ready? Are you Scarfed Pult? He is Scarfed Pult. Okay. Hey, what are you going to do? Scarfed Pult, what are you going to do, right? Um... Scarf 
default. I mean, I don't think Envy would switch. I'll DP. You're either switching your Lantern. Yeah. Or you're switching to the Verizian. That's a good decent amount of damage. Two shot from here. If he doesn't paralyze me, I'm fine. Cool. Ooh, nice. All right, so we don't know how fast his Togus is, but I'm actually pretty fast myself. I think I might just fodder here. Mimikyu's not that valuable anymore, but Kingdra is. I'm gonna use the T wave. It's fine. I think I can actually get away with going for stuff here. Shadow Sneak would be okay. It's not gonna do that much though. If he goes for a sub here, I'm in a bad spot. I don't think he has sub. I think that like Will was, was okay because it stops from switching in. The defog's totally fine. Oh, never lucky. Yeah, I still want this. And what are you gonna do? All right, might as well just go for Shadow Sneak then. He's gonna get maximum luck. Rocky on it, okay. I might outspeed that thing with Kitar. Quick claw, let's go. It's gonna be Verizian, I think. And then we just. We'll see how we wanna take it from here. Verizian is like the big carry for him. You have to switch it in, like, right now. Wow, he's going for it! Not today. Uh, I don't know why that happened. Maybe try to stop uh, Dragon Dance or something. There's the Verizian, okay. Um, yeah, the, the big problem here, right, is I don't mind Mimikyu anymore. Hmm. Might need to change his orc set. There's nothing to really do with T-Tar here, but I think I still want to keep it because it's good versus those last months. I'm probably going to try and fodder this. I want to see if he goes for the close combat or the weak blade. SD, holy crap. All right, that's probably his game. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. I mean, I can set Rain Dance here. But like, holy crap. All right, so you see we switched it out. So right now we're gonna use Rain Dance. Yeah, Verizian is just so freaking good. CC. I mean, is it even worth it to go for the Sucker Punch here? Or is it just better to go for, like, a knockoff? If you give me an attack boost, it's not like the attack would matter. I'm gonna knock off. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't wanna go for Sucker. And then we just have to go in here. And then we have Hurricane. We still have a good matchup versus the Pult. Tokus is gone, Bronzong's gone. I still think we're in a decent enough spot, and we still have that T Tar. Yeah, this thing's gonna get two shotted. Ugh. But he's making the game a lot longer than I want it to be. You think Rizian sashed? Could be. Didn't he already take damage though? I think I did damage to something. I took I did sandstorm damage to it. I have only one turn potentially left of rain. All right, let's see what he actually wants to do here. I'm gonna go for the Scald. Oh, he's going for it. Yeah, he, he must have, uh, he's orfed. Ah, uh, Rain's out now. Uh, I think we lost a Verizian. Okay. A bomb beard. Almost. Almost did it. All right, let's fuck up this pult and then we'll fade out. Alright, give me my claw. Give it, give it, give it, give! Never lucky. Alright, we'll still be able to take it. Alright, so the thing is, though, I just want to say right here, if I were to play this matchup versus Envy, if this was our game for the week, though, if that was our game for the week, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine taking that L. Getting Envy to his last mon, that would be really good. So I think that that actually went better than planned. 
Brizian took no rocks? What do you mean it took no rocks? He defogged my rocks away. With leftovers on Politoed? That seems like it'd be wasting Politoed's effectiveness. All right, let's see if this one works as intended. I think that Titar is the play here, especially because now we have a good check to Brizian. We just got to get lucky. We're up all night to get lucky. Sorry, you go Titar, Zork, and then you pick all the other stuff. Perfect. Okay, I'm okay with this, actually. Delta Rock trades. Perfect. I think that, like, Mr. Rhyme has a good matchup first. Oh, not first Bronze Longle Mount. Is he going to spin me? I think it gets spin, doesn't it? I'm going to get Rapid Spin. No. Okay. That sucks for him. Um. That's fine. Oh, I fucking forgot to spin! I'm an idiot. Well, now. Accidental victory. Do I just toxic this? What does he do to me? That's good. Cool. Just gets rid of both of our things. I don't think MV would make that play, but it's fine. Let me just put up a stealth rocks again. I don't got a single quick claw proc, by the way. There we go. Quick claw. Let's go. Let's go Quick Claw. Yo, let's go Quick Claw. Bronze Song, where you looking, Chief? Big DH. All right, I wonder if Crunch can take it out. Awesome. So I have rocks up. I'm in a good spot. All right, it's it. This is it, chat. This is it. This is the test. Quick Claw. Country roads take me home. Never lucky. I was. Oh, you. Oh, okay. He didn't close combat though. Sash? Oh, is that. Uh, oh, he's a freaking. That's so good. Alright, round two, round two. What? It's okay. Song's gone. I'm looking at this actually like copycat that we play would be dope. No, yeah, fine. Scarf boys. I think this KOs, but like, I don't want to risk the whole game for it, so I'll just play safe. You can roost all you want, you can defog if you want. Yep, we'll just play standard. How are you? It's been a while since I last watched you. Busy with life? Yo, I've been great. Yeah, we just gotta keep doing this until the lantern comes out and then we toxic it. One more and we outspeed. Bro, I'm doing it. Oh, let's go. Roost. All right, it's time to end him. Let's go. No, oh, come on. I used Metro on that turn. Never lucky. <laughs> Never. I'm doing it. I'm just going to Icy Win. Ice Win's so good on the Mammoth Swine Switch in. Yeah, it's good on Lion Turn, too. He's trying to wait my rain out, but, like, I'm totally fa like fine with that. Like, we just have to switch up the poly to, like, this turn. Oh, my gosh. Can we get our Toxic off? That might lose me the game. That might lose me the game. That sucked. Yep. Pretty sure it's fine.
I want to do a little bit more damage. Your rocks are fine. Fuck, we were supposed to put rabbit spin there. I'm an idiot. Yeah, we're supposed to have rabbit spin there. That was a misplay. I would have rabbit spin. Oh, come on! Come on! Fuck. It's so annoying. It's alright. Volt switch on the lantern. That's that's cheeky. Volt switch is because that's be best, dude. In with the mammo. Can't really come out there. Have to come in here. I'm okay with this. No ice shard. Yeah, I've, I've been really unlucky with the Politoed Paras this game. This is fine. I have to deal damage this thing anyway, so. It's like a three, it's like a four shot. And then my rain will go away. That's fine. Not like this! I should still have speed. Michael Matokas this turn. Nah, I went further. I risked it. It's completely fine with me if he takes this Kingdra out. I can't have him switching into Tokus and getting a heal. At this point, I think I have enough damage with. Oh my gosh. That sucks. I think I have enough damage with just Mimikyu to win the game here. We just gotta hit, like, it's Shadow Claws, right? Yeah, we don't have enough to hit. I think Mimikyu wins it. Because man, all of his mods are low as shit. And they didn't know if that was Zorark or Mimikyu right there. So that's why we were in a really good spot. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yo, thank you for the follow. Oh shit, I thought this so. Oh, next damage 6%. I thought it said it is at 6%. Yeah, I wouldn't have went for this. Uh, let's see, though. You can miss a Thunder Wave. I guess not. How oh, stupid still? Oh my gosh, he's gonna roost me. Still takes that big toxic damage though. Cool. We can try and roost all day, but he's taking more toxic damage, and maybe Q's health doesn't matter at this point. He might switch. Mammo's... Nah, he should still save the Mammo, I think. I wonder if he's gonna break the disguise this turn. And just fodder. Yeah, that's smart. Because now Mimikyu just dies to Mammo Swing. We'll see, though. I'm gonna see if he has to walk into a different move. Oh, that does over half. We'll see though, like Dragon Darts, he has to go Shadow Ball, I think. And like, if I had Shadow, if I had like, I had to go for it. Like, if I had Sucker Punch, we'd probably win here. 
but it's we mixed it up and went special. Yeah. Yeah, sure don't kill me. Um, like having this additional info like that killed me. He got some really good paras though. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do in that matchup. I got no eject button procs that mattered. I think I was I was definitely winning it, but I got it down the last one again. And we'll see how I want to deal with it. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Cause it's still it's still a really hard matchup. Yeah, I thought I had that one one too. I, I just feel I got really unlucky with the paras. But I went for like three toxics on your lantern and got paralyzed every single time. But I do think the like toxic polytoad is really good here. I think the changes that I made were better. Um, I like this Mr. Rhyme set. I think we're gonna bring the Mr. Rhyme. Uh T Tar was cool. Come and chat with the calcs. Oh yeah, no, we're we're done playing games. I'm done playing games. Uh, if you want to come in and help now, that's that'd be great. Uh, I think the Politoed is okay. I like this T-Tar set. Like I'm comfortable playing with this T-Tar. We might want to use, might want to change the EV spread a little bit if we want to. But uh, Kingdra was also about as good as we're gonna get with it. I think Kingdra's fine. Mister Ram was good, and uh, we might want to mess with the EV spread. Mimikyu, I think I'm gonna use Scarf Mimikyu. Um, I'm just curious about like what I want this last move to be. Yeah, I like this set. Wait, no, I, I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do my set. Sash? Attract. Done, did it. All right. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure if he runs bronze on it's gonna be conceived. That's one of the reasons why we still have to go Zorg. All right, so I'm gonna stick with the Zorg. We're gonna mess with our EVs, mess with our EVs. I think we have to just have Metronome. Like, what other move is there? People are talking about using Whirlpool. Like, Whirlpool, Perish. So we go, like, Whirlpool. Ah, wrong button, sorry. We go, like, Whirlpool, Protect, Perish. It's, like, Scald. Toxic. <laughs> I feel that, like, that's a waste of a Politoed, though. Like, that's a cool set on a Lapras. It's not that good on Politoed. I mean, it could work. I think Lantern's gonna be an issue, yeah. Um, that was one of the reasons why, like, we're running, like, a little bit of other stuff like this. Lantern's gonna be a lot of, a lot of problems. I, I wanted to, I initially had Earthquake here for a Lantern. To if I get the Toxic up on the Lantern, I'm fine. What's Lantern's base speed? Is it 70? 67. All right, so we do outspeed. I'm gonna put 12 points there. Let's put 20, because I'm pretty sure he'll be creeping me a little bit. I don't remember if these go to level 50. I think these are level 50 games. So let's put all these mods back at level 50. Like, it'll set it to 50 for our game. there mess with that i think kingdra's eevee spread's fine yeah like that just kind of has to be what it is to make it so we don't lose the scarf things and this helps us outspeed like tokus and stuff mid game if we have to and i think the ice beam is better than flash cannon because it can hit it can still hit the things like the pult right on the switch in but it also hits the verizian and the toekus as opposed to, like flash cannon only hits the toekus for super effective Yeah, Eevee, the Scarf pulled out to be Dread on Rain. Yeah, so it's like, I'm not surprised. And I think that Titar is like, still a really cool Pokemon here. All right, so let's start thinking about things we can do. So we have to get our genders the right too. I want to use Attract instead of Metronome. 
I think I will. So Zorak will be female, and Polyteth will be male. We want two Attractmon, at least. This guy could be Attract as well. I think I would just be wasting turns off my rain though. Like if I attracted the lantern and it was the wrong, <clears throat> sorry, male, I guess we go female King Dre and go with the track. I'm gonna try that. Okay. And I thought about cutting the Psy Shock here for attract as well. But like, I think Psy Shock is still really good. Nah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I think I need something to hit Mammo. I mean, Freeze Dry is okay. I mean, the thing about it is, like, you were using Life Orb Mammo, which I don't think he'll be using. I think he'll be using Sash. Because, like, the thing about it is, like, our team, I use Rocks against you a lot, but if you go and watch all my games, I haven't set Rocks, like, once in the whole WBE. And I think he's going to take advantage of that. And use a lot of Sashes. And so, like, I really think that, like, this thing, Mammo can't do a ton to Mr. Rhyme either. He can Rock Slide me, I guess. Freeze Dry is okay. You set rocks every game? I don't! I, I set rocks every game against you! I don't do it in the WBE though. In my official WBE games, I don't set rocks. I usually don't. And plus, like, if Mammo's the, if Mammo's the opposite gender, he's gonna be running thick back because it's single. He's not gonna be running oblivious. Trap. Mister. Yep, so female, female, male, male. We have four track users. We have one. Two. Oh. All right. So female, male, female, male. All right. Four. Uh, I think that it's a uh, orb is orb was good there actually. It gave you some uh some good stuff. All right. So we want to disguise this as a we want to make him a male then. All right. So male, two, three. All right. Three and three. Perfect. So we have four mons with Attract, and I think that's going to be fun. And, and then remember, guys, the whole point of the week is to entertain. I think Attract's an entertaining enough mechanic that we, if we can set rocks and four switches, we might be able to start picking up KOs just thanks to rocks damage. Yeah, I think he's going to lead with it. I think he's actually going to lead Mammoth Swine, because Mammoth Swine is a good matchup versus a lot of these, and Sash Mammo can set rocks safely versus Politoed. Like, what am I going to do? Scald it? And, like... You get into a scenario where, like, if I if you lead Mammo and I lead Politoed, what am I going to do? It's called you. Waste turns off my rain, and then you just hard switch out the Mammo. Mammo can also set Sandstorm, I think, or Hail. So, like, Mammo can check Politoed super hard if I want to lead with it. And you just hard, you can just hard switch into your Verizzi and just go to town. So, it's like, I feel that, like, Mammoth Swine's a really good lead if I want to lead with, like, T-Tar and stuff like that. So, that's just what I think. Uh, Mammoth Swine, I also think that Butterfree is pretty decent here. I don't think I'm bringing Butterfree this week, but in reality, Butterfree is a pretty good Pokemon here. And I really want to use the Zorark Attract Strat, disguising it as a male mon. I want to disguise it as like Mimikyu or Mr. Rhyme and just freaking attract another female. I would love that so much. And I feel that like these are male and female. Yeah, like we both, both these mons can technically check the uh, lantern, if depending on what, whatever nature it is. Okay. Stone Edge was there for Butterfree, okay. I think that the whole game is going to come down to the Quick Claw. And I'm actually really surprised to see you Rancoba Berry. I'm like super surprised to see Rancoba. Because like, if it were me, I would run, like, I would probably run Vest on the Verizian if I was him. You just can swap in on so many more things with Vest. Like, the Kingdra can't do anything. You can just stay in. I know you're running Swords Dance. Um... Yeah. Sash was another good item too, yeah. Sash was another good item on Verizian. I think the, the Cobra Berry won you the game. For sure. I had that game over. But you should have just close combat. But I think that this is a pretty good squad. So let's see. We just start making our EV spreads. Alright, so does Zork really need like this much speed? Because like Zork can outspeed the Verizian. This forces Verizian to be full speed if I'm like this. I don't want to have to go timid. That's what I'm looking at. Like, I don't want to go timid, but, like, I will. I think timid's still good. 
But then, like, even if I go timid, like, even if I go timid, I might as well just be full speed, because that way I can outspeed a Scarf Obstagoon, right? So I might as well just stay. I might as well stay just full speed, just because, like, it will, like, outspeed the Scarf Obstagoon. Right? Am I wrong? Like, if I just wanted to go... Is that like an obstagoon? So like we have the same speed there, you know? So like maybe I go an 84. And then I can go like Is that the right number? Am I really doing this right? It's the, it seems like... It doesn't seem right. I mean, and it sucks that I'm wasting this many points in HP, but like... Because I'm sashed, you know? But like, this will really help versus like the... Uh, it's like, we put 70 points in here. And he goes for Dragapult. It's not that we're trying to hit, we're trying to outspeed Adamant Verizian. While also still outspeeding Scarf Obstig or yeah, Scarf Obstigan. I mean Let's see if I take those points out. Doesn't stop shit. But they're extra, you know? Adam Rizian hits 160. Yeah, that's why I said we go 162. Because 161 is uh, Jolly Scarf Obstagoon. And then 162 uh, outspeeds that. And so, like, I think that, like, if you're Jolly, I can't beat you anyways. Right? So I might as well just put these points in here. Unless I wanted to put him in attack. <laughs> and put, like, Sucker Punch on there. Decent damage. Yeah, I, I bet you you're really worried with it. It's a decent amount. What would I cut though? Flamethrower? Yeah, I don't need flamethrower in that matchup. I like that. That works. That's pretty dope. Doesn't do a ton, a ton. And I'm sure. Would you go mixed nature? Yeah. I would. That's what I just did. Right there. I like that. That works. Um, last little check. Yeah, that's good. Like, I'm sure you're going to be, like, heavy bulk somehow, but, like, that's fine. Yeah, that's totally enough damage. Just need to do, like, I just need to be a two and a half shot. You have nature timid? It's supposed to be timid. No, we, you need to be timid. Oh. No, I didn't. It's right here. Oh, I was nature timid. Oh, in this calc I did. All right, thank you. That's a little bit more. That's rocks damage, though. Like, that's a rocks slash, like, uh... That's a rocks plus a sandstorm tick. Works for me. Cool. Alright, and then Politoed. So, Politoed, I want to be heavy defense. Just because, like, the special offense... The special threats from this team... Dragapult can be special, yeah, but it doesn't really threaten Toad. Toad is going to be special. I don't really want to fight that that much. 
Lantern can be special, but like I'm not scared. So like I am not like afraid to just go like Like I'm I'm totally okay with that. That that moveset right there is completely fine for me. So that EV spread's fine. And the T-Jar is a weird one, right? Because I know that I need the full attack. Just because I need to deal that damage. I'm just curious what I want to do with the rest of the stats. I feel that like I'm better off using... I'm, I think that like this is fine. And the only reason we even want to go the four points right there is just because there's a couple other mons that... Actually, it's not even worth it because there's nothing to the speed tiering at all. It's not going to be outspeeding Lantern. I could make it to be outspeeding Lantern, though. Yeah, that's probably pretty smart. Yeah. So Lantern is... I'll just make it the same number as Politoed. 93. Make it a little bit faster. This looks like... That kind of works. And so now we can outspeed the Lantern. And even the Senta Scorch to some extent. Like on a decent speed creep. I dig that. King Drew was good. Mr. Rhyme. The thing about it is like Mr. Rhyme was a 70. And like a lot of our mons are 70 base speed. We have a lot of 70 mons. Politoed 70. Um, I, I want to put points in speed here. Because Mr. Rhyme can actually get speed boost. But like we don't... At plus one, we outspeed Parisian, don't we? So, like, the worst case scenario was, like, this Parisian right here, right? This was a jolly one. So, Mr. Rhyme. And I don't think, like... So, that doesn't outspeed, but, like... That does. So it's like there's no point to put like any more points there. I'll put four there just in case he wants to speed creep a little bit with like the Senta Scorch or the Lantern. But I feel like I'm fine using that Eevee spread. And then the Mimikyu. Mimikyu is a weird one because like I don't think we need this many points in bulk or, or in this many points in speed because we're scarfed. Right? So it's like what do we want to do with the rest of these points? We just need to make sure... Actually, I'm just going to do 252, because it makes it so... Let me think about this. I think Mimic I think Scarf Mimikyu is really good here. And I, I kind of want to just keep my full speed, because like he has to be Scarfed Jolly there. And he has to be like full speed Scarfed here. Like he can't like go like 128 speed Scarf. Like I'm okay with making my Mimikyu relatively fragile. And I don't want to put points in HP because we're using, like, Woodhammer and stuff like that. So, like, I feel that, like, as lame as it sounds, I think this Mimikyu set's just fine. Put our last four points in, like, Special D. I liked the first Mimikyu set that I tried as well. I feel like this Mimikyu set that we tried the first time could be really, really good. But it just got shut off. I, I, like, the, I like the bulkier Mimikyu more. But it's hard to say. Like, the bulky Mimikyu can do so much more mid-game. Like, Lantern can't do that much to bulky Mimikyu. Yeah, the thing is, that's another thing. I think he's going to, like, over-prep for it. And I feel that, like... I don't want to get 6-0'd. And I feel the Scarf Mimi is a good way to make it so I don't get 6-0'd. <laughs> but I really want to use that bulky one. I think I am going to use the bulky Mimikyu. I liked this spread a lot. And it was really good versus Verizian. We just didn't have a chance to like make it work. Like I think Scarf Mimi could be really good. But like I feel like this one is just so much cooler to use. The only reason it didn't even work this wrong is because we got crit. He can totally try and para. That's one of the reasons why Shadow uh, Sub is like good here. I also think like, so I I think there's a, still is a high chance that Skun Tank comes. I think there's a high chance that like, even something like Shuckle could come. I don't think he's bringing Bronzong. Just my opinion. I don't think that he is. I think he's going Dragapult, Togekiss, Mamoswine, 
Parisian Lantern Scun Tank. And I think that like, if that's the sauce, I think Mimikyu is really good. With uh, the, this Mimikyu set's good. I just wanted to go off once. I think if the Quick Claw goes off once, I'm fucking feeling it. Let's talk about some bad matchup potential. If I lead Titar and he leads Verizian, do I just risk it from the start? Because it Oko's uh, standard like Verizian sets with Aerial Ace. I think you just got to risk it. And even if he... That's the thing, right? If I lead Titar, they go Verizian. Sludge Bomb would do decent damage. Sludge Bomb would do pretty good after a, spa, after a stat drop. So, like, if they come in with Titar, get a, like, they pick up a kill close combat. If he's Sash, he'll die. Because I'm, I'm a Titar. And that's fine. I think, I think Mimikyu is still really good against Verizian as well. So, like, I think that this is okay. I think he might also expect me to switch. Because he's like, what's Titar going to do? Use Stealth Rocks? I was just said Swords Dance. And I'm like, you about to be getting dumpstered. I think, uh, yeah, so the way that I'm trying to do this is, like, what's the worst case scenario if I lead Titar? It's Verizian, right? Titar, it's the worst case scenario, because, like, in Shuck, we just trade rocks. I have a spinner. Uh, Skun Tank, I'm fine. That's weird, but, like, I'm fine. Uh, Mama Swine, uh, like, we trade rocks, or, like, I switch to Politoed. A lot of these I can switch to Politoed to. Uh, the only one I can't switch to Politoed to is Verizian. And I could switch to Politoed. I could, I definitely could. Uh, if I just wanted to get my rain up immediately. But I think that we I think we got shots.